So after a recent interview with Dave Body explaining and talking a little bit more about a return to the Rico, it's made a lot of more Coventry fans optimistic about a potential return to the Rico for the 2020-2021 season. There's a lot to take away from this. Obviously, I was very, very negative when it was first announced that we were going to be playing at Birmingham City for the 2019-20 League One season. Um, did I enjoy it? I mean, a lot more than I, I expected. Obviously, we were playing really good football. We did win the league. We were promoted to the Championship and we only lost one game there. Well, two if you if you count Birmingham in the Cup, but it was technically an away game. And there's a lot of fans did enjoy the whole St Andrews experience a lot more than people did expect. It's still kind of wrong, isn't it? You know, a lot of fans do want that return to the Rico. And I know it's not the best of stadiums. I know a lot of Coventry fans don't even see it as home. They obviously see Highfield Road. And kind of after that, we were at a bowl of a stadium for 10 years or so. However, there's a lot of positives, obviously. First of all, the Rico is in Coventry. It's not 26 miles out of the Coventry city centre. It's like, what, five miles? Good transport links uh, for Coventry fans coming in and out. I mean, the one main thing that is going to massively improve is match day revenue. Coventry City as a business are going to look at it as, oh, you're going to get a lot more money playing at the Rico, obviously. More bombs in seats. I know that the home attendances at the Rico have not been brilliant, but a promotion to the Championship has got to help. I mean, looking at the past few seasons in League 1 and 2, they were pretty poor. But first of all, most teams in the Championship bring really, really good away followings, guaranteed two, 3,000 fans, um, and then local teams could bring around 4,000, depending on what we're going to allocate. Then again, the home attendances, a really good season, uh, being promoted as champions, so obviously a lot of fans that may not have gone since we were last in the Championship and maybe didn't want to go to League One games and probably went to the few Wembley ones, will decide to go to a lot more games in the Championship. Also, we've had this whole pandemic where... No one's been able to do anything and I guess football will be another place or one big place which will bring the community in the city back together and a return to the Rico would be huge. I mean, looking at, you know, after the war, I know it's a completely different situation. It was nearly 100 years ago um, after World War I. Uh, obviously, when football came back, more people went to games and it was the same with World War Two. And I know it's it's pretty two contrasting things comparing World War One and Two to this whole pandemic. It's hopefully, fingers crossed, the nearest we're ever going to get to anything like that. And I mean, you know, people are going to want to go to football again. As like people have gone to the pub. I bet there's people that have went to the pub that hadn't been to the pub for like a good year or so. They didn't really go to the pub, but they've decided to because of the pandemic. I know it's a funny way of putting it, but football is one way of the prosperity of the city. Um, and it brings a lot of smiles on faces to a lot of people that work Monday to Friday and it is really a kind of escape for 90 minutes. And you know, a season in Northampton, a season in Birmingham have took fans away. I think the difference between us coming back in the Championship, if we have a mid-table season next season, it'll be appreciated a lot more to say the season we did come back in League One. If you look at that season, we only just really stayed up. We weren't playing brilliant football. We had a very weird squad. We had the likes of Nick Prodswich, Adam Barson and Andy Webster. I mean, what a weird time. Now, I know Tim Fisher did say in the TalkSport interview a lot of praises about St Andrews, and I have to agree. They did really welcome the Coventry City fans. It wasn't like we were unwelcome. The stewards there were great. The staff there were great. I went for an induction day uh, to just kind of see where my season ticket was, where I never actually ended up sitting. Um, and the staff there were great. They were, you know, very welcoming. And I think I never, ever had that at the Rico. Um, so, you know, thank you very much to Birmingham City for hosting us. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we're not going into a second season there because we've seen what happened to AFC Wimbledon and hopefully we're not that sort of team. And I do trust the owners now. I think a lot has changed in the past couple of years. We've gone from being relegated to League Two, uh, the fans being totally against the owners, um, Joyce Apala and Tim Fisher. And you know what? When I saw Joyce Apala come on, to the promotion stream, I thought, oh my God, the cheek of her. But then thinking of it, does she deserve a second chance? I mean, I'm not one to kind of, you know, be fully against someone. And I know if you do follow me on Twitter, that <laughs> I, I do kind of put my views very strongly against the, uh, the way the club is run. But maybe she does deserve a second chance. Maybe her, Tim Fisher, will look at it 
and maybe they, you know, even if they're not even looking at it in a football way, maybe they'll see that they're going to make more money in the championship at the Rico than anything else. Now, I feel like if we're not at the Rico next season, a whole generation could be lost here. You know, young children, uh, probably seven or eight years old, mums and dads, won't really take them to a game in Birmingham. And, you know, they're going to go and support teams like Man United, Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool, bloody anyone but their local team, Coventry City, because it's not their local team. It's not, you know, them playing at home. And, you know, the reason I support Coventry City is because my dad took me to games because they were my local team. And playing at the Rico next season could start. It feels like a new era. It feels like the club are turning a page. And I hope I'm right. Because, you know, after years of seeing us play teams like Grimsby and Forest Green and Port Vale and Swindon and Crewe, hopefully things are on the up. But that's just my word for today. Hopefully we do get a Rico deal done soon. People will ask me on Instagram, are we going back to the Rico? And these are probably non coventry fans. At the moment, it's obviously undecided. But, you know, hopefully we somehow end up at the Rico. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, make sure you do leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Also, I've made a new Twitter. I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can follow me over there. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Goodbye.